Let's go back to, I, I just had a, a great show a few weeks ago with Stephanie Harlow talking about the kind of the intricacies of the Manson family. Where did you find the connection with, with Berkowitz and Charles Manson? So Maury believed, the, and this is through who you might, the name you might know, um, Ed Sanders. Mm-hmm. You know, Ed Sanders writes the definitive book on Manson called The right. Family, right? Right, right, right. And in it, Ed Sanders basically figures out that Manson got his helter-skelter prophecy from a, a, another religious group called The Process, The Process Church of the Final Judgment, that he hooked up with in San Francisco in the hate, right when everything was going on in 66, 67. And it just so happens that David Berkowitz was also connected with mm. the church of the process. And it's basically Ed Sanders, who's like the definitive conspiracy, conspiracy smart guy about Manson and Maury Terry, who's the definitive smart guy about, you know, uh, Berkowitz. They kind of hook up and they kind of come to this whole idea. And right. It's actually kind of interesting. You know, for those of you who don't know, the Process Church of the Final Judgment starts in London in the late 1960s. And they are basically two excommunicated Scientologists named Marianne de Grimston and uh, Robert de Grimston. They get kicked out of Scientology by L. Ron Hubbard. They get excommunicated. Oh, wow. Okay. And they decide they're going to start their own kind of like uh, psychoanalytic therapy organization. And it turns into a little bit of a commune. And this is in London. They start to get a whole bunch of rich guys and they kind of all get together. It turns into a bit of a commune. Then de Grimston starts to go down a little bit of a satanic path and starts to get really crazy with it and basically comes up with the idea. And this is not so crazy. He says, to really understand humanity, you have to embrace both good and evil that's mm. inside all of us. And that kind of makes sense. You know what I'm saying? Catholicism, right. Catholics, they just deny that you have anything bad, <laughs> you know, that you have ill thoughts or whatever. And so he says, no, we got to embrace both of it. And but then they start to go really down the deep end and they get into like Satanism. They get called the mind benders of Mayfair. They get called uh, these occultists and they get kicked out of the UK. And then they start these cells that go all over the United States, Toronto, New Orleans, New York, LA, San Francisco. And one of their big hubs is San Francisco. And they're hooked up with the flower kids and they're in the Haight-Ashbury. And that's where theoretically they meet Charles mm. Manson. Uh, Charles Manson hangs out with them. He hangs out with a bunch of guys coming out of prison, uh, but he hangs out with the with with the process. He hangs out with a whole bunch of others, and suddenly, a couple days later, a couple weeks later, he starts his own cult <laughs> called called the Family. He mm-hmm. goes down to L.A. and you know where he said he hooks up again with with the process. Um, the process is also theoretically connected to RFK's assassination. The process goes underground and then they appear suddenly in the early 1970s in New York City. Now, Maury Terry says that somehow the process is connected to Berkowitz. And I'm not 100 percent sure that that is exactly true, but new stuff is coming up every day. And we actually find some really interesting connections. I spoke to a guy who worked in an occult shop Mm. in New York City called the magical child and i was like maury terry made all made all these wacko connections about the process he's like actually no the process when we were all hanging out in occult shops the process were the people that we were afraid of like they were weird they had these right. german shepherds so i was like and he's like so when we started to hear that like the son of sam thing happened we all knew it was an occult crime because we had been hearing rumors and then when we heard that dogs were getting sacrificed like we found that to be pretty interesting. And we all internally thought it was the process. And I was like, oh, that's very interesting. So mm-hmm. that's brand new. That didn't come out in our documentary at all. Wow. 